Good morning everybody, welcome and today we're going to be painting some Pathfinders. We're going to be using this rail rifle version because it's actually a pretty nice one to demonstrate what I want to do here and how my paint job works. So uh, yeah, we're going to be starting off with some Sotec Green. It gives it a nice teal look to it. I like it and honestly, if you wanted to stop here at this step once you finish doing it, it's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty good at a tabletop distance, you know, if you're setting up if you're standing above it from a tabletop distance, you know, a foot away, you could you would not notice any mistakes, you know. It looks absolutely spectacular. But if you want to take it to that next level, I recommend, you know, adding some more little bits of detail, some null noil, and some extra colors for some contrast. So, uh, yeah, keep watching and see that later. And, um, yeah, we're going to be using three coats of this teal color, Sotec Green. Um, it just gives it a nice coat, you know, in case you miss something. And, um, yeah, we're also using a monster brush. I would recommend using a regime brush by Army Painter, but I don't have one. My game store doesn't have one. And these are the prices for Amazon, and I am not paying 30 bucks for a uh, paintbrush. So we're just going to wait for them to come back in stock, and we will see that when we see it. So we're going to be using Eschen Gray now to paint the cloth. I guess you would call it pants, but it's kind of the cloth. It gives it a nice coat. And I think you only need one coat of this. I didn't notice too much of a difference when I put on a second coat. So I didn't bother putting on a third coat even then because, frankly, I'm going to save some paint if it's not going to make a difference. So, uh, yeah. Now we're moving on to use some Null Noil. When we thin down the paints in the first step for the Sotec Green, it kind of gets into the crevices of the armor. And it takes away a bit of the detail. So I like to use a little bit of Null Noil. Just kind of make it pop, you know, make those panels look separate again. And, um, yeah, I think one coat would be fine. You don't need to do a second coat unless you kind of mess it up like I did. I put in a second coat just sort of on the arm there because it just pooled weirdly and I didn't like it. And some t and a little bit on the pants as well because it just kind of, it didn't pool right and it didn't, it didn't go on right for the pants so I just kind of had to put on an extra layer of it just because but uh yeah um now we're going to be using troll slayer orange it's a nice color gives it a nice pop you know the rail gun looks super cool gives the eyes some nice contrast the sights some nice contrast and um yeah so we're going to be using troll slayer orange it's a nice vibrant orange we're going to be putting it inside the rail there we're going to be putting on it on the end of the barrel and this little backpack thingy here, I think it's an exhaust vent. I don't think it's an exhaust vent. I just, that's what it kind of looks like to me. So it looks like somewhere some heat or some energy would be pouring out or something like that. So we're just going to put it there. And it looks pretty good so far. So yeah, we're going to finish this up. We're going to do some touch-ups um, because this one is a little messy when it comes to the tooths or the teeth of the gun. Just because you kind of got to get into the gun with it. And we're just going to be using some Sotec Green and some Null Noil just to kind of fix it up. So, uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. If you wanted to do some edge highlights, you could do it. And, um, yeah, so this is what it is after we finished. I think I, I like the gloss on it. The Null Noil gives it a nice gloss. And, frankly, if you wanted to do some edge highlights, that'd be fine. But I don't. I think leaving it to be done by the actual light because the Null Noil gives it a nice gloss. And when the light hits it, it gives it a nice little sheen on it. And, you know, if that changes based on how the light works, totally fine with that. It looks cool already. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you all next week, probably with some terrain videos, maybe some more painting videos. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all next time. Peace.